What's going on guys? Welcome back to their flight time tutorial. I've been having a lot of questions about quill body um, Euro nymphs. Um, the main question is, is there another material you can use other than the peacock quill? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you this new little pattern I've been fishing. It's an awesome pattern from Browns if you fish for Browns. Um, this pattern's been slaying it lately. I'm really happy with the outcome. Really easy to tie. Um, new twist kind of on a quill body. So I'm gonna get a fresh hook in the vise and we'll get going with this tutorial. So the hook we have in the vise right now is a Partridge Patriot. This is their barbless jig hook. This is a number 12. The bead we have on there is a 1 8 black nickel bead. It's a tungsten. And the thread we're gonna be using is some Vivis GSP and this is just a 30D. I would definitely recommend using uh, tungsten beads on these zero nymphs if you don't. It's just going to get that fly down there that much quicker. So we're just going to start a thread here. Make some nice wraps. I want to slowly start taping, tapering this right off the beginning uh, because this 30D is kind of thin. I usually use 50D but I don't have any. So I'm just been rocking the 30D until it runs out. So I'm just gonna cut out my little tag in there. Now for the tail of this fly, we're gonna be using some Coke de Leon. And we're just gonna grab about three three fibers here and I like to get the fibers near the front you don't want these ones with the webbies um, the stiffer fibers are at the front these are great tailing um, material I'm gonna get about three I've been tying these really sparse lately usually I put like four or five um, but I've been tying these really sparse like two three and uh, they've been looking really well so I'm just gonna get three there we're going to tie these in. Make sure they're on the top of that shank. Just like so. Just going to take some more wraps, make sure those are nice and tight in there. Then I'm just going to bring my thread back up to behind the bead. And I'm going to bring these butts up with it. like so. I can come in with my scissor and just cut these little butts out. Okay so now for the body material. Like I said this is a new body I've been playing with. It's been working out really really nice. I, uh, I really like the look. I would not recommend this if you don't have um, some sort of epoxy or a uh, Lewin Outdoors UV uh, clear fly finish because it's just going to rip apart um, with uh, one, one, one fish will be ripped apart. So I've been using these Strong Rooster saddles. These are the long. And for this fly I'm going to be using a fluorescent orange and a olive. Now if you're using two feathers you want to try to get them the exact same length uh, because of th the thickness of the stem, um, you want to try to keep it as uh, the same as possible. So I have my two feathers here that I have prepped. So I'm gonna be using this orange. It's it's almost like it's not really an orange. It's more kind of like a, like an off tint yellow. I really like the look of it. Um, so that's why I kind of been playing with these two colors lately. And I, I threw the olive in there just to give it some contrast and um, break apart the wraps so it kind of looks like um, segmentation. So if you're kind of new to like quill body flies and stuff and um, don't really know how to strip peacock quills or anything like that or can't get your hands on any, this is a great alternative. And uh, I've been tying a lot of flies like this lately. So I'm just going to tie those in. I'm just going to throw a little uh, whip finish right there just so um, 
my thread doesn't pop back out. So I'm gonna grab these two stems. They're pretty delicate, so you wanna take your time. And you just wanna polymer these up, the body. As you can see, that little olive stem is just almost making it look like it has a little segmentation, like a, a regular quill would. So this is definitely a, a cool little method I've been playing with. You can you can get these in all kinds of um, different colors, and they're they're dirt cheap for these uh, saddles. and they're just really easy to uh, prepare, to uh, tie in. So I just made some nice uh, touching wraps of the body here. And once I get to behind that bead, I'm just gonna tie that off and cut the little stem part out. It's really cool too, because they come in so many different colors that um, it's pretty hard to find colored uh, quills and stuff. So if you want to kind of get into, uh, you know, some different colors and experiment with some stuff, uh, this is a cool little way. So I'm just going to throw another whip finish in there just to save my work. Now I'm just going to grab some Luno doors. This is their fluorescing flow. Now I'm just going to coat this body up. And this is going to make these pop that much more. So if you wanted you could just do the straight um, one but I've been playing with the, the two stems and this gives it a little bit more uh, contrast and it looks a little bit more uh, segmented. So once that's kinda coating the whole body come with your light Just hit that for about 10-15 seconds. Like I said before, if uh, if you don't have uh, UV um, curing or epoxy or anything like that, um, these stems are going to rip really quick. But once you put this on it, um, they toughen them up, uh, makes the body look so much more uh, so much more uh, realistic. So if you haven't tried this stuff. I definitely uh, would recommend uh, picking up a bottle. It's pretty cheap, and it uh, it'll change the way you fly or uh, tie flies. So for the collar, I'm just going to be using some custom blended dubbing. This is all ice dub, and it is um, one part orange, one part yellow, one part shell shell pink. It's the uh, I'll show you the pack here. So I'm just gonna make it just a little tight collar here. I don't want anything too bulky. I like to keep them relatively sparse. Just like so. Now I'm just gonna do a four or five turn whip finish here. And with this uh, GSP, after you whip finish, you can pull down on it really tight, and it just sucks it right down to behind the bead, and you can't even see um, the thread, this little thread collar that you would if you had like 70D or um, something like that. So that just gets sucked down right into the back of that bead. And I said two little whip finishes there. And you can kind of just cut out any of those stragglies. There you have it. You can tie this in a bunch of different um, colors. Um, this is the yellow I used. I used this orange, just the hot orange. And the other color I used was this um, UV shrimp pink. I thought it was shell pink, but and I just mixed those a couple pinches in each and I just made this cool little 
um, dubbing just because I didn't want a straight orange. Um, if you want to just have a straight orange, I'll work just as well, but um, I like to play around with dubbings. But uh, there you go, cool little uh, pattern. Been doing really well with uh, browns um, in this colorway. Um, you can change out um, with these uh, these saddles. The, the colors are endless and uh, with the dubbing and everything like that. So, so let your imagination go and tie up whatever you want. Try out some new colors. Hopefully today's video guys, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments for any of the other viewers, just drop that down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot again for watching and we'll see you in the next one guys.